What's going on guys? 99 Silverado New Body Style here. It's kind of weird to say. Um, today we're going to be uh, doing a little update. Um, I actually have my hood open right now because my low coolant light came on. It's like a hair low, but not low enough where it would uh, cause it to come on, I don't think. At least, especially not on my old truck, you can see it. It's right below this, um, this little like dip in the tank. If I like stick you down there, like oh, that might help me. Like um, at least I think that's where it is. I can't tell for sure though. Probably making you sick right now watching this. Yeah, so there it is. You can kind of see it. So I'm not sure where the coolant went. I didn't even look for leaks yet. Doesn't see anything leaking, but uh, that doesn't mean anything necessarily. But anyway, um. So I'm going to be showing you my uh, air horn setup that I put on. It's um, pretty much complete. Could do a little tidying up like this wire right here that goes into the cab. Could do something with that. But um, other than that, it's done, I think. I can't think of anything. Um, there's my uh, power wire for my compressor. It's not the, you know, not the best, not the worst, though. Um, probably would have looked better without the electrical tape, to be honest. But whatever. Um... It's alright. So I decided to pull power off of there. We'll start there. I decided to pull power off of there instead of messing with the battery terminals. I, I don't like that at all. I hate when people, you know, have a washer and just, uh, the little ring terminals. Are, no, I'm not interested in that. When I change my batteries, I don't want to have to deal with that. So I decided to pull power from there. I think that's the best bet, at least in my opinion. I thought about going from here, actually, the top terminals, because they're not used. But then it's like it's it's pretty close to the paint and this battery like moves like like um I can't really do it right now. But like I'm not sure where it's at, but it moves it moves more than it should, that's for sure. And um with a ring with a terminal around there it, it could easily touch the paint, so I wasn't dealing with that. And I wasn't gonna run away all the way over to that battery. So this is what you get. Um Anyway, so my pressure switch is right down in here. Um, you see that little silver label down there? This might have blinded you. That's it. Um, so it's it's below the headlight. I, you can't really see it. I can take the headlight out, I guess. Because I'm sure people are probably kind of curious how it works. And it turned out to be a pretty clean install. I'm happy with it. It wasn't very necessarily easy, but... Uh, oh! I almost just lost you. Um, so these two wires coming off here are my um, HIDs. But uh, there's the pressure switch right behind there. Um, so as you can see, you know, you can't really see it. Um, and then those are the wires for it. Like one goes to the compressor, one goes to a switch. And um, camera keeps adjusting. Um, ground from the battery to the compressor and to a switch so there's four wires coming off of it so that's um that's that these headlights are kind of a pain to get in here with this grill and i know that i'll put it back in off camera i'm not worried about it right now um so that's where the pressure switch is that tells the uh compressor what the tank's at to shut off um i guess i'll show you my compressor next you can't really see it which is what i wanted so i'm right in here there it is it's in the front bumper. So now there's like a little bit of like ghosting going on with the light. There's something on my camera and I can't get it off. Maybe I can put my phone in here. Oh, look at the rest. All right, put it in here to show you a little bit better. There we go. So there it is. I made a little mount. Um, I'm trying to be able to see. Okay, so I made a little mount coming off the bumper bracket. And so there's the compressor. I can't really show you much better. Which I guess is good, because you can't, you know, the only way you can see it is from right here. But uh, other than that, you can't see it. So I'm really happy with that. And then off of that, I have a leader hose on it. Um, yeah, you can't, there's the compressor again, right down there. You see a little red sticker. Um, and then off of that, I have a leader hose, and then I have a T. The pressure switch grooves into the T, and then the hose goes back to the tank, which is in the back of the truck. Uh, the pressure switch, optimally, optimally, yeah, optimally, optimally, 
should be on the tank. The pressure switch is supposed to be on the tank, but the the compressor because I have a relay in it. I got the good pressure switch, which I mean, I don't know if "good" is the right word. I got the one I wanted. I didn't want to have a separate relay for the compressor and whatnot, so I decided to get the pressure switch with the relay built into it. So that means the compressor pulls power from it. And I didn't really want to draw 19 amps from the back of the truck. That's a long, that's a long way. And then I'd have to run wires all the way back and then all the way back up again. So I'm not really, I didn't think that was the best bet. So I decided to do a T and it, it works fine. Um, I think it comes on a hair early because the, the hose loses pressure slightly before the tank, like five or 10 pounds, but no big deal really. Um, so now we'll go underneath the truck. I decided to mount, I don't know if you can hear me right now with my creeper, so I'll wait. So there's my tank. This could be a little bit better, but it's, you know, um, it works. So here's my tank. This is um, my hose, obviously, from my compressor. Yeah, it could be prettier. Maybe I'll tidy this up a little bit. What's my tank at right now? There's my gauge. I can't see it. Oh, there you go. 120, just below 120. Um, so... This is my uh, hose off my pressure switch slash compressor. It fills the tank right here. See, I just got a little bit of tidying up to do still. Um, so that fills the tank. On this side, I have a bunch of ports plugged right now for anything I want to do later. So I got three ports over here that are plugged and one with my gauge. This is my blow off valve or drain. Blow off valve, if you don't know, that um, if the tank ever reaches over, I think this one's like 175, this will pop, let the air out, you know, in case the pressure switch fails or something. So this will pop and, um, you know, start draining in the tank so it doesn't blow up. Um, on the top, up here, um, this is where my solenoid is for my horn, those two blue wires. And then these uh, two wires right here, I had to run all the way back. This is what goes to my horn button, my switch. So there's my, uh, I can't show you too good, it's not pretty, because I had a lot of uh, um, things, um, fittings, I can't really show you, hold on, I'm sorry for the camera work, but I'm sure you want to see it. So here, off the top of the tank is, um, I got a street elbow, and then a reducer, and a reducer, <laughs> down to like an eighth of an inch for that uh, horn solenoid, or the editor, that, that solenoid, yeah. And then um, my horn feeds off of there. And I just got like a little three foot Harbor Freight rubber hose. And look, it's all, it's all twisted right here. I can't. It's, um, yeah, I, I, it doesn't have a swivel in, so it's kind of terrible right now. But I might change that. Um, and then over here, I got a quick connect for filling my tires. Um, in case I ever go to like the dunes or something, I got to air down and then I can air back up on my own, which is nice. And then right there is my horn. I decided to mount it to the little heat shield. I figured, you know what, I don't have a problem drilling into that. It's just thin metal. It doesn't really do anything besides protect the paint or the body against the exhaust heat. Um, so that's the horn. You can see, facing forward. Um, yep, that's it. I mean, that's that's the setup, and I am. Um, I ran that uh, air hose all the way in the frame rail. It closes off right there. And it's it's in the frame rail the entire way. So um, there you can see it. Oh, that stuff's still really wet. Um, so there you can see it. It's still in there. All the way up. And I'll show you where I came out in case you guys are looking at doing this. Sorry if the noise is just ridiculous right now. And the camera works eight times worse. So. It goes in, it closes off, closes off. Um, probably better off going outside now. Ah, damn it, I'm stuck. Okay, sorry about that. And um, it comes out right behind here, in that hole, out of that little hole. I can't tell you how much of a pain that was to get that through there. But I got it and I'm really happy I did. Now it leaves a nice clean install, and um, if I didn't tell you, you'd probably not be able to. You know, you wouldn't know that I have that. 
Um, and you'd be, you know, besides that and those wires, you'd be like, what are those wires? And then I'd blow the horn off and scare you so you know. Um, I'll show you inside what I have for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it yet. I haven't decided. But as you can see, you know, no switches around, which is like what I wanted. I might change it. I might put a horn button more accessible. But right now, I made a little plate. Um, mounts up to those two bolts that my trailer brake controller were in. And um, uh, you can kind of see it. Okay, so yeah. So this is kind of done by design. This is my compressor switch to turn it on and off. Um, you know, you could just run it by the pressure switch and let it do it, but, you know, sometimes I want it, um, you know, if I don't want it on, coming on at all, like, you know, in the winter or something, I don't want, you know, for whatever reason, this is a kill switch for it. So, um, that's off, that's on. It's right next to my trailer brake controller, so I can just reach down and go against it and turn it on. So it's done, so I can find it easily. Sorry, I keep moving the camera so much. And this is my horn button. Um, just a momentary switch that I found. It's not pretty, but you can't see it, so it doesn't matter. So, uh, there we go. I'll show you where I pulled power from because that's another question I I really couldn't find much of an answer to. Um, I ended up pulling power from up here. Uh, I think all I you know I don't know I read that um, it's up behind this box and the top um, top left port, uh, the top left connector. It's on the on the Okay, I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into the backstory. Um on the like uh I read on the forum some guy was saying that um not all the trucks have this. It's called SEO, like stands for special equipment operations, so like this is where you're supposed to pull power from for um, you know, whatever you wanna do, like I don't know, plows or I and I'm not really sure what it's for, but I have it. And it's fused up in the fuse box right above it. So it's up here. And there's one port to the left, or one uh, plug, it's a male end, well it's kind of a female, yeah, it's got male prongs coming off of it, um, it's one over to the left of my trailer brake controller, and it has ground, it has um, hot all the time, it has ignition source hot, so it's perfect, so um, my compressor switch is on ignition source, um, so, like, um, like right now, you know, the compressor, uh, I don't think it would come on right now. I can't remember what pressure it turns off at or comes on at. But uh, anyway, so, you know, either way, I can't turn it on or off without the key on, which is what I wanted. The horn button's hot all the time, so I can honk it whenever I want. And I'll do that for you in just a second. Um, but that's my setup. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to answer them. I'm sorry this video is so long and pretty shaky. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and there should be a train or, or there should, a train horn. There should be an air horn clip afterwards. All right, guys, so that's about the best shot I can get right now. Uh, my phone's just on a chair in my driveway, uh, and there's probably some wind noise, but uh, I think you'll still hear it. I think it fell. <laughs>